Tonight in Scranton with the second night of Hanukkah and the safety concerns for temples and synagogues across northeastern and central Pennsylvania. Ever since war broke out in the Middle East, there's been a rise in anti-Semitic crimes across America. Newswatch 16's Jack Culkin is live at Temple Hesed in the Electric City's East Mountain section. Jack. Lisa and Scott, tonight's Hanukkah celebrations here at Temple Hesed saw more than a dozen congregation members come to an area where they can feel safe. Rabbi Daniel Swartz led more than a dozen congregation members in a blessing before their Friday evening Hanukkah dinner, a public gathering that sees safety as a top priority. We definitely want to have a physical presence of security on occasions like this, in addition to our, our regular uh, measures. We want people to feel safe, um, and we want them to, to want to come out. The second night of Hanukkah comes a little more than two months since the war between Hamas and Israel began. While the fear of hate and anti-Semitic crimes is still real, Rabbi Swartz says the congregation is constantly looking to stay ahead of the problem. You know, we're on top of it, um, and I think the security planning is something we're going to have to do for the long haul. It's just now going to be a budget item for every synagogue in the country. Working with local and state agencies, Swartz says no threats came against Temple Hesed in the lead up to the holiday events, allowing for an evening of good food and prayer. People really have come together. Um, uh, I have, you know, heard from my colleagues of other faiths um, throughout this time, just checking in, making sure that we're feeling safe. In Swartz's words, it's a little bit of light that can transform a lot of darkness. In some ways, if folks are staying home, um, then then the, the folks doing violence and terrorism have won. Um, so we want to make sure that we both are secure, but people also feel secure. Hanukkah continues for six more nights for more holiday stories and how the Jewish community in our area has been impacted since the start of the Hamas Israel war. You can visit our website at WNEP.com. Jack Culkin, Newswatch 16, live in Scranton. Jack.